Listen to me. You want to know about salvation? Jesus said, you say that I'm a king? To this end, I was born. Why was Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, born? To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone that everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. So now you, you gotta you gotta ask the same question a pilot asks. What is truth? What is truth? What are you talking about here, Jesus? What is your truth? You're the truth? And by the way, Pilate was looking at the truth. Jesus didn't have to answer him. He's like, dude, you're looking right truth right in the face. You're looking at me right in the face. I'm truth. But this is the truth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through that the world through him might be saved. So Jesus Christ came down from glory, gave up glory, was born of a virgin, became a man, lived a perfect life, and it, it and I just learned this months ago. You couldn't be a priest or a prophet until you were 30 years old for like a public ministry. This is why Jesus started his ministry at about 30 years old, Luke chapter 4. So he lived a perfect sinless life. He started his public ministry at 30. He went about three and a half years. His own people and the Romans crucified him on a cross beat him to a pulp. The Bible says his face was so turned inside out, you couldn't even tell that his countenance was of a man. This is what he did for you personally. He took all those stripes. He took the nails. He basically suffocated to death on the cross and took all that for the sins of the world that whoever believes in him, he washes your sin away in his blood. That's what he does. So when you believe in what he did for you, your sins are washed away in the blood. Now, only God could do this. So how do we know he was God and not just a man? People try to say, hey, he was just a man. He was just a man. He was a good man, but he died on that cross. But what happened three days later? He rose from the dead in power and glory. Three days later, he appeared to over 500 people for 40 days. Dr. Barry disputes that one too. He's wrong about that. And then he went up to heaven. He sits at the right hand of the Father, and he's about to come back and get his church. So the gospel, the good news is you have to know you're a sinner, and really nobody should have any trouble believing that. Beg him to save you. Pray to him to save you and say, I believe you died for me and you love me. Therefore, I believe in you and I love you, Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Save me now. I confess it with my mouth. I believe it in my heart and you will be saved. And the greatest secret that an unbeliever doesn't know all, believe, all true believers know it. Unbelievers don't know this. When you do that, God himself will make himself known to you. He'll make himself known to you. Because you'll be like this. Uh, did it really work? Am I really saved? How, how does this work? What do I do now? When it's real, God makes himself known to you. And then you will know that you are saved by Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of the world.